pillars with the and have a look at this race at Utoxeter with the sleeves. brand new version 2.6.1 Betjet Pro to show you how Except fast it is, how great it is for tick-off setting, and show you what we're going to be doing throughout the winter in live racing club. So I'm going to look for some gaps here, go and get the race meters up just to give me an indication of what's going on. I'm going to have a look for some gaps. Crestwell Queen's getting uh, back down there. I'll go and get rid of the menu so I can just have an extra ladder there. There we go. And we just start looking for some gaps. Looks like it's going to be this time to bite. He's in second place. There's not much money to back him. And the favourite, third favourite, fourth favourite are all coming down. So I think he's going to be the one. So I'm going to go and get some lays in there. And I'm just keeping an eye on the other three, plus the money to back this time to bite. If I see large chunks of money coming in, I'll go and get out of it. That's all very small amounts there at the moment. So I'll jump in there at 6.8. See there's no money between 6.8 and 8.4. So it's perfect for tick off setting, particularly with the speed of BetJet Pro. It just fires in those bets the instant you get matched. Midnight Just watch when the lay bits get matched on the left, how the quick the tick offset goes in. Race is next in the field. Well Queen tucked away on the inside. And, uh, we've got those ones up the back top there getting backed. Driven with a get some more in there on the left. Severus Alexander. Still no money to back it. Look at all the gaps there. It's perfect. This is a perfect horse to tick offset. Even though he's running in second, the market hates it. And they're still backing that Crestwell Queen. Midnight Glance is holding nicely. And the favourite, you can see there, still trading at 2.2 to 2.3. So I'm just going to keep firing in the lays here. There's absolutely no money to back this horse. It's just perfect. See, as soon as they get taken, the bets fire in. It's impossible to see the time difference from when they get matched to when the tick offset goes in. It's literally one millionth of a second, which is just fantastic. Let's go. Get some more in there. There's absolutely nothing to back it. So I'm going to look to get 15 to 25, maybe 30 pound out of this if we can. As long as they just don't back it, it's going to just keep going up. We're starting to get to the point soon we want to get out. Just trying to get that Shadow green down. If I can get the green lines. down to where I'm trading Nailing to be 20, that'll probably Monday. do us. It's like 12, 13, 14 there at the moment. Profit in the green, 15, 16, 17. So it's starting to go up now. No money. See, we get a couple more in. We should be above 20 and be able to get out. There we go. Go and get out that 25, 59, and that'll cancel the other unmatched bets. Go and cancel the lays. And we just get matched there at 11.5, and that'll be us out. Still no money to back it. Here it comes, getting matched there now. Take the rest of that. Thank you. Two to go. There we go. And then you can hit Z if you like. If you don't think the horse will win, you may as well win a bit more on the other horses by hitting Z, get an extra 88p, and hit it again. If it, uh, you get a bit of best execution, now it's up. At, it's jumping from 50 to 11 here. It's how great it is for in running. So volatile. But uh, I'm happy just to win any amount. That uh, if it comes back to win, but it's not going to, it's a thousand now. There we go 26 29. Here's the bets that we did. Let's see all of them in there, starting at 8.8. And uh, the last one was 8.8, uh, 9.6. So the market barely moved the entire race, and yet you can just tick offset. It's um, just an unbelievable bit of kit. So there we go. That's what I look for when trading in running. We're going to be doing that all winter in the live racing club. So hopefully we'll see you there.